Hey folks, I hope you're all well and staying safe. Okay, so you were just about to buy the Rift S, and then the announcement for the Quest 2 came out. Now you're not sure whether you should get the dedicated PC VR headset, the Rift S, or the jack of all trades, the Quest 2. Well, have no fear, Wackman is here. We are going to find out if you should go for the forgotten child, the Rift S, or the prodigal son that has returned with a vengeance, the Quest 2. So if you enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up and share if you can, as it lets me know to make more of this type of content. Also subscribe to the channel for everything VR related. Speaking of vengeance, remember, the giveaway for Creed Rise to Glory and the secret Oculus Quest and Quest 2 game is about to end sometime this month. It could be your last chance to enter, and your first game that you get. So make sure you're a subscriber, like the video and let me know in the comments which game you want to enter for. Also, my super special giveaway announcement will be coming sometime this month as well, so keep a lookout. But let's get straight into the video. I'm going to approach this as if I were deciding which of these two headsets to buy. So the first thing is price. Like I've mentioned in my previous videos, the basic 64GB version of the Quest 2 is $299, and then you need an Elite head strap or equivalent for $50. The reason you need it is because you won't be able to play more than 30 minutes before it starts hurting your face. Although a lot of people will probably get the Elite head strap with battery for $100, but you don't need that for PC VR gaming, so $50 it is. Then you need a cable to connect the Quest 2 to the PC, as the one provided is not long enough to work. Now first thing I want to mention is that although you don't necessarily need the Oculus Link cable, which is an optical fibre cable, and you can use the cheaper USB active copper cable, there is a noticeable difference between the quality on the Quest 2. This wasn't the case with the original Quest because the chip couldn't handle the data at the speed the link cable was able to produce, so it was being bottlenecked. But the XR2 chip in the Quest 2 can. So if you want to go for the cheaper option you can do, but I will still recommend getting the link cable if visual quality means a lot to you. In this comparison however the link cable was being used, so that's the price we will be applying. You can adjust that to your personal circumstances. So the price of the link cable is $80. Now this is where we're going to stop and not add any amount for the audio, because we are comparing with the Rift S who has the same audio solution as the Quest 2. So the Rift S cost is $399, and the Quest 2 cost is $428, so a $28 difference. So the Quest 2 is $28 more expensive, but what does the Rift S give you for $28 less, and is it worth it if you're just going to do PC VR gaming? Okay, so let's start with comfort. Which headset is more comfortable after the Quest 2 gets its Elite strap? The Rift S is lighter than the base Quest 2, even without the Elite head strap. Plus, because of the design of the Halo strap on the Rift S, the Rift S is objectively more comfortable because it is lighter and has a better design for comfort. Now, even if a mod comes out for the Quest 2 and you can put a Halo design on the Quest 2, the Rift S being lighter will still be more comfortable. So, for comfort, the Rift S wins. Next up is a really important factor in VR, which is the visuals. The first thing the Quest 2 already beats the Rift S on is that it has a 90Hz refresh rate that can go down to 72Hz if it needs to, whereas the Rift S has a 80Hz refresh rate. Now 10Hz isn't that big of a difference but it is still enough that you can notice it, and it just feels better to be in 90Hz than 80Hz. Next is the visual clarity. Now here things get a little bit tricky, but I still think there's one obvious winner. First let's talk about the lenses. The Quest 2 kind of destroys the Rift S in this one as the Quest 2 has a resolution of 1832x1920 per eye, whereas the Rift S has a resolution of 1280x1440 per eye. This is actually a massive difference and is around 6 pixels more per degree for the Quest 2. However, even though there is a massive gap in the resolution, have a look at the clarity for yourself on the screen, which has been taken from tie reels through the lens comparison video. Link to the full video is in the description below. The difference isn't as massive as the resolution, however, that is because of the display port that the Rift S uses, whereas the Quest 2 is still using the USB-C cable. But it doesn't matter. From my eyes, the Quest 2 still looks a bit better. However, the colours don't pop as much as in the Rift S, but it's clearer. Plus, the Rift S has more of a screen door effect, whereas the Quest 2 doesn't really seem to have it at all. So for visuals, I'm going to have to easily give it to the Quest 2, which is a shame for the Rift S. Ok, so what does the Rift S not have that the Quest 2 has? Well the first thing is a physical IPD adjuster. The Rift S again falls short of the Quest 2 and doesn't actually have a physical IPD adjuster. The Rift S lenses are actually fixed at 63.5mm and then you can adjust them in the software. Although I feel like that's just a placebo effect and it doesn't actually do anything. Personally, I couldn't see any difference putting it to the max and to the minimum. You do get a sudden shift but it doesn't really help with anything. The Quest 2 has three physical IPD modes which are 58mm, 63mm and 68mm. 
You basically have to pick the one closest to you, if you don't fit any of them exactly. However, the Quest 2 also has a software related IPD adjustment similar to the Rift S. So again, sorry Rift S, you take another L. Moving on to the controllers. Well, you would think they were the same, but they're actually not. The Quest 2 controllers have a slightly different design and are a lot closer to the original CV1 controllers, which I personally loved. But some people may like it and others may not. But the intention was for them to be more ergonomically designed. Has it achieved that? Well, that's a subjective element since everyone has different hands, so you're going to have to decide for yourself. However, what is not subjective is the battery life. Facebook have said that they have increased the battery life and improved the haptic feedback of the controllers. This is by allowing the light on the Quest 2 controllers to run at a lower level, without losing any tracking functionality, and have also added more advanced haptic motors in the controllers. So that nicely moves us on to tracking, which is a fundamental part of inside-out tracking. So, from the outset you can see that the Rift S has one additional camera, which basically means that it can track more than the Quest 2 can. So technically, the Rift S does win this one, by just having more. Now, I know more cameras do not always mean better tracking, especially after the Vive Cosmos example. But the Rift S and the Quest 2 are both Oculus products, so generally have similar software capabilities. However, one thing I have to mention, although I'm not 100% sure why in game, but I don't think the extra camera at the top is used that often, because I don't have many reasons to put my arms over my head. For example, in the game Climb, I would be looking where I'm putting my arms, so the cameras at the front would catch that, and I wouldn't need the camera at the top. But anyway, I'm still going to give this one to the Rift S. Now, I have to mention this one because it really irritates me, which is the mic quality. The mic quality on the Rift S is atrocious. It's so bad that people can tell which headset you are using just by the mic, which was shocking and quite embarrassing. The Quest 2 mic is actually really good in comparison. Even the original Quest was better actually. So again, the Quest 2 wins in this department. Facebook really let the Rift S down here. All right, let's recap where we are. For price, I would still give it to the Quest 2 since you have options of what you want. For visuals, again, the Quest 2 won. For IPD, the Quest 2. For controllers, the Quest 2. The mic quality, again, the Quest 2. And for tracking, the Rift S slightly edges out the Quest 2. Well done, Rift S. However, unfortunately for the Rift S, we aren't done yet. The Quest 2 kind of beats the Rift S at its own game, which is PC VR. Though this wasn't the case with the original Quest, if you watched my Quest vs Rift S comparison video, where the Rift S came out on top. However, the Quest 2 is just better in this department, which is why Facebook has decided to discontinue the Rift S. Now before you start panicking, that doesn't mean you can't use the Rift S if you already have it, or you won't be able to play any games. You will still be able to do everything, you just won't be able to buy a new Rift S, because Facebook were clearly using it as a stopgap to make sure they maintain the PC VR market as well. The Quest 2 really was the prodigal son, who has now taken the throne. Another thing I want to mention is, the Rift S isn't a bad headset. It's actually quite good and I enjoy using it. It's comfortable and it's visually clear. But that's only if you don't compare it to the next generation. Do you need to buy the Quest 2 if you already have the Rift S for PC VR gaming? No, you really don't. However, that being said, as a wired connection, no, I wouldn't say you need to upgrade. But for a wireless PC VR connection, if you're interested in that whatsoever, then the Quest 2 is actually a lot better than the original Quest was. Plus, the 90Hz refresh rate and the powerful XR2 chip running in the background, plus Wi-Fi 6, there's just too much going for the Quest 2 over the Rift S. You can even take it anywhere with you as you can play it as a standalone headset. I'm not sure if you've seen those videos where someone has taken it on a plane with them. So, if you're deciding which of these two headsets you should buy, then the answer is clear. The Quest 2 wins in visuals, has a physical IPD adjuster, high refresh rate, potential for wireless PC VR gaming, adaptability as you can play it anywhere, and it even has better software. Plus, Facebook are coming out with more and more things for it. Hand tracking was just the start. Whereas the Rift S has become the Cinderella of the Facebook VR systems, stuck in the basement and forgotten, waiting for a prince that will never come as Zuckerberg has devoured him. Well, that's all folks. I hope I've helped you decide on which headset you should go for out of the Rift S and the Quest 2 for PC VR gaming. I hope the people that own the Rift S aren't too upset. I am one of them, but technology moves on and we should be happy about that. And if you enjoy the video, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and join the WAC Mania community. Remember, if you would like to enter the giveaway, make sure you're a subscriber, like the video and let me know which giveaway you would like to enter. Well, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Stay safe and see you next time.